shout with our voices this morning. Let's magnify the King of all kings and glorify his name forever. Let's give him praise and glory. Exalt his name. There's no one like him. Forever is on the throne, worthy to be exalted, worthy to be glorified. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have given thanks. How many expecting to be, today to be a special day in their lives? Today we answer according to his name. It's a day for supernatural favor. Everything we do today we answer to that name. Because whatever Adam named today, God did not change them, even after he fell. We have named today as a day of supernatural favor. It will answer to that name. Every form of misfortune, disappointment will end in your life. In the precious name of Jesus. It's going to be teaching and prophetic. It will take one or two minutes to just worship God and allow his word to flow. Give him praise and glory. Exalt him, there's no like him. Give you praise, we give you glory. We give you honor, we give you adoration. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' most wonderful name. Lord, in this first service, and on this special day, let your word bring forth testimonies. Open our hearts to receive. Understand what you are saying. Spirit of God, be our teacher yourself. Encapsulate everyone with your power. In Jesus' mighty name. Let God's people say. Amen. How many of you know that today is Friend Sunday? How many of you invited a friend? Lift your hands to heaven. For everyone that invited someone as a friend Sunday, may your reward be special. May your own favor be outstanding. Let be above every other one. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Now, if you like this kind of prayer, even the second service, find somebody said the prayer will work for you. Are you hearing me now? That means no matter what you get, they will be above you. So if two of you go for an interview as the same members of the church or from the same denomination, even from the same Pentecostal, they will beat you. Because they've done something you did not do. So make sure you do something today before it's over. Are you hearing me now? Give me a big hand. You may be seated. Sound end is here well. It's a crown right that year with his what? The part of fatness. Psalm 65, verse 11. God is not a man. She lie. If God said, We crown your year with his goodness, then you end this year well. Say to yourself, I will end this year well. Yes, Don't say it just jokingly, say it with faith. Yes, say it and mean it. Yes, God said, He crowned thy year with he with thy goodness. And that part drop fatness. God will crown this year with his goodness. And your part shall drop fatness. May fat things happen in your life. And good things happen to you. In the name of Jesus. Enjoying supernatural favor. Part one. The time to favor you is not coming. It has come. All I need to do is to know what to do. So that shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the said time is come. Psalm 102 verse 13. God is not going to favor you. God said the time has come if you know what to do. Psalm 102 verse 13. You are now created to enjoy favor. To enjoy what? In John 10, 10, he said, I'm come that they may have life. In the Amplified Classic, he said, I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till overflows. God said, he has come that you and I will what? Enjoy life, not endure life. He said, he has come that you and I will what? Oh, my brother, my sister. What did God say? It is what you confess you enjoy. If you came to suffer, then stay there. I came to enjoy life. That's what Jesus said to me. I don't know about you, but he said, I'm come that you may what? You know, religion is a very demonic thing. Even when I preach, some of you, enjoy me, no God, oh no. To enjoy life. <laughs> Look at it. Because you heard all manner of teachings that's affecting your mind. I came that they may have and what? You look at it, you are not seeing the Bible. I came, this Jesus speaking, not David the Enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Suffering is not your portion anymore. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. He said, confirm the words of his word. When I say suffering is not your portion, if you believe that you confirm my word, then that is when you say amen. I say suffering is not your portion. Amen. Yesterday, we were at the airport and a young man shared a testimony. About five of them served us when we went to a battle. They were security personnel. And I said, well, you've served me. Now, kneel down. And they said, I prayed for them. And I left. He said, sir, do you know the whole five of us, no one again is here. Do any battle. All the five. He said, one of them is in Canada. He said, this one, I'm at the airport. This one is here. He said, all the five of us. Boom. This will, they were not even going to church well. Are you coming down? Because they believe. You know, sometimes we get used to, I know Papa, I know Papa. I know Papa. I've been saying it. I don't enjoy them. My friend, one prayer I prayed for five of them. The whole five of them have what? The whole five. It was said us yesterday. He says, sir, the whole five of us so see me here. One of us here has left for Canada. This one is here. None of them, no one was at, at that level again. The whole five have shifted. All of them. Now I said, today marks the end of struggle and suffering. <laughs> You will enjoy life in the name of Jesus. 
Now, the word to enjoy is to take delight or derive pleasure in something. That's what it means to enjoy. To take delight or derive pleasure in something. Why supernatural simply means something superior to the natural. Then favor is special treatment given to someone. Preferential treatment. Preferential what? Given to someone. So enjoying supernatural favor is special treatment given to a child of God through the application of the word of God in order to derive utmost pleasure in every area of life. If you don't get it, get the message. All I want is, it's not the definition, it's to know how to, I didn't know how to define when me I do something. I did what I did. Favor is available to everyone who desire it. It is not based on your looks or personality or your background. Favor does not come to you because of your background. It can break barriers. It can set you on top from the bottom. It goes to those who value it and not those who need it. It has the capacity to take you from the pit to the palace like Joseph. And someone is moving that way in the name of Jesus. Favor can cover your errors and color your efforts. A lifetime suffering cannot be compared to a day of favor from God. It will make all the difference in your life. Shout a loud amen. Amen. Shout a powerful amen. Amen. Israel labored for 430 years, nothing to show, but one day of favor terminated their struggles. I don't know how you have labored since your life. I don't know how you have labored since this year started. Today's service will terminate that frustration in your life. Amen. You don't wait for favor, you provoke favor. So look at what to do to enjoy supernatural favor. There's something to do to enjoy favor. When God gives you a word to be funny, he gave me what I will preach concerning glory rain. And I've said I didn't need as bit by bit, you know, when the woman wants to cook, she said, bring me pepper. He said, my child, bring me crayfish. My son, bring me palm oil. And then she will first gather them. Is that not true? They will be on the kitchen table. And then after a while, she will now begin to put them one after the other into the pot. Is that true? And this morning, just preparing, I was not, I was preparing for this service. He began to give me another one for glory rain. So I kept it. I wrote it down. I'm preparing it. Well chored. I already it gave me I have the message of glory rain. Can tell you, but I won't tell you now. But it's going to be the best since this church started. What to do to enjoy supernatural what? There's something to do. You don't wait. Number one, be born again. Be what? You can't enjoy favor if you are not born again. The first qualifier for God's favor is salvation. Is what? It can only favor its own. In Psalm 5 verse 12. For that law will bless the righteous with favor and with, and, sorry, with favor. Without compass him as with a shield. Psalm 5 verse 12. God will bless you that is born Again with favor. So every born again child is supposed to be enjoying what? And that shall be your testimony. When the prodigal son returned, he was restored into favor. He went to the prodigal journey, but we want to return back. God favor, the father favored him. Luke 15, 17, 21. May your returning back to the kingdom of God bring forth favor in your life. That amen is your own. Number two, be addicted to the promotion of his kingdom. Or be addicted to sacrificial giving. Or be a kingdom promoter. Any of the three you like, right? Be a kingdom promoter. Be addicted to sacrificial giving. Be addicted to promoting his kingdom. Anyone you like, you right. They are all correct.
They are addicted to promoting God's kingdom. Are you hearing me, sir? Kingdom promoters have unlimited access to supernatural favor. Every sacrificial giver to the promotion of his kingdom, you don't beg for favor, favor looks for you. In Psalm 102, 13 and 14, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her, yet the said time is what? Let's see verse 14 together. One to go. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the doors thereof. It is those who take pleasure in promoting God's kingdom that enjoys his favor. The man Solomon promoted the kingdom of God. And Solomon loved the Lord. First Kings 3, 3, 4, and 13. He went to Gibeon to sacrifice 1,000 burnt offerings. And God himself sounded from heaven. He said, well, what? Because he went and God said, Even the riches that thou hast not asked, I'll give them to you. He said, and I have also given the that which has not asked, both riches and honor, so there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, I'm going to bless you so much that you don't need to request for it. Because you have promoted my what? Kingdom. Kingdom promoters don't beg for favor. So here. How many of you promote God's kingdom? You promote kingdom? It's a lie. We will lie too much in church. You broke kingdom. Then why is everybody not, not being favored? You can't promote his kingdom and not be favored. You're not, you're not okay, I saw many of you brought friends. You didn't break. They say promote kingdom. You see the way they lie for first service. After you'll be blaming your children, they are lying. You say, this child, you lie too much. You lie too much. You don't know. It's your lie that was transferred to the child. <laughs> Many of us don't promote his kingdom. Don't promote what? We promote ourselves. You can't promote his kingdom and not enjoy his favor. And Abraham, you know what you do? Lord, I'll promote your kingdom. Say so. I know I was a bit selfish. I used to be very selfish. But I'll break selfishness to promote your kingdom. I, not everybody is qualified. I can, I'm qualified to say I promote his kingdom. I've told you over and over that what brought me out of poverty into favor is promoting his what? Kingdom. The first one, if the Bible was to be written today, my name would have been written inside. After they mentioned David, Solomon, they would have put my name. The first money I ever had as a pastor, I've told you, was seven to three thousand. Have I told you before? The first broke money I ever had came as broke money was seven to three thousand. And I used 700,000 for the church to repair the church, 3,000 to buy books. First month, I had no car. I had no what? I had no car. I was still trekking. Boom! My head was what? Open. I had no house when I gave $1 million offering. No house. People, people go on the internet and they say, if you have no, I was living on the tree. I didn't say, I have nowhere to live. That was not what I said. I was living in the official quarters. But I had no house of my own. It was one three-bedroom tired building that was here. The building was inside this church. We will demolish it. Where you have, if you open window, church people will be passing. So we close the window permanently. <laughs> if we open our window, members will pass and you'll be hearing them talk. So for 24 hours, we are so close. It's only the night we open it. You don't know where we think we just come to here by lock. The window was there, this place. You see. So members of pastor, they are coming to a church, so you have to close it because if, if they look inside, they will see your bedroom. So we didn't get here by lock. Are you hearing me now? I had no house yet. I gave one million dollars, which today is one point two billion naira in one service. You think God will not favor me? It's in a lie when they talk. Okay, do your own. <laughs> if it's that easy. To even give 50,000, some of you are struggling. Say, so the name, I bind this voice of 50,000. I bind you. You can't 50,000 for what? Ha! 
Even 5,000, some of you say, in Jesus' name, not 5,000. 1,000, no. 15, I, yes. <laughs> you can't be favored by that. Follow your pastor and he will not struggle on earth. First Chronicles 29. A man called David. He said, Moreover, I have affection to the house of my God. I have my own proper good of gold and silver. I'm reading verse 3. Which I have given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the house, holy house. This man gave, gave, and God, he seek you from the kingdom of what? And his righteousness and favor shall be added unto you. May God favor you. Amen. Just put his kingdom first. You will see favor, eh? It will just lavish on you. That's the way to provoke what? Favor. And number three for the service, increase in knowledge. Increase in what? In knowledge. Second Peter 1 3, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Grace and peace. That word grace is simply unmerited what? Favor. So favor is multipliable through knowledge. Through what? Knowledge. Second Peter 1 2. Good understanding given what? Knowledge. Proverbs 13 verse 15. Your level of knowledge is what determines the level of your favor you enjoy. Knowledge has made me to know, for instance, that nothing this world can make me tamper with my tithe by knowledge. By what? No devil can tell me to tamper with my tithe. It's not a prayer point. By knowledge. I know if I tamper with my tithe, my life will be tight. So I don't need prayer. I don't need what? I'll pay my tithe. Then favor just come. By knowledge, I know. By knowledge. By knowledge what? I know that if I quarrel my wife, it affects my favor. So I avoid everything I make two of us to what? Do you understand what it is? By knowledge. By what? Once you have a problem with your wife, it will affect your finances. And by knowledge, I know that if you don't give to your wife, no matter how anointed you are, your finances will close. Knowledge. What is it? Knowledge. I don't need prayer for that. Any pastor you see broke does not give money to his family. Quote me. Check all pastors who say things are tough. Ask the wife, do your father, your husband give you the money? They say no. No matter how anointed a man of God is, if he doesn't give you the money to his family, things will be so tough for him. No matter how rich the wife is, he must give her feeding money. As God has blessed him. As God has what? Once a man does not give money to his wife, things will be like this. By knowledge. By what? So knowledge should increase, sir, here. Then I'll look at hindrance to supernatural favor. I'll take one of them in this service. There are so many hindrances, but I'll just take one. A major hindrance to supernatural favor. Number one, lack of gratitude. Lack of what? Lack of gratitude. In Malachi chapter 2, 1 and 2. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If not ye, and if not lay it to heart. To give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts. I will even send a curse upon you. I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already because you, have, you do not lay it to have. When you are not grateful, you end up as a grateful. There are people who are never grateful. That's why, that's why people have stopped. God gave you life. Thank him for life. You are complaining for Christmas cloth. It's not a man who's alive that wear cloth. First, thank you for the air you breathe. You are busy complaining. Oh my voice, I'm Christmas cloth. You know? God said, eh. You are amazed. So the air I give to a free of charge you cannot tell me thank you. Door will close. Some of you are specialists in murmuring and complaining. Even now, some of you inside this church now you are complaining. See now, all the sanctuary work I'm doing. I sweep the whole church. Nothing is being swept out of my own life. Look at people who don't even go to a church. They were bikers. You are saying it in your heart, oh. The bikers. Those who don't even go to a church. They build houses. Me every day I'm in church, Monday to Sunday. Even the foundation has not come out of it. God, are you still God? 
Before, where are we living now? He will not stay where he is. He says, okay. You are asking me questions. Stay where you are. Many of you, the devil is not your problem. The problem you have is what? Ingratitude. Full of ungratefulness. You are so ungrateful. Do you know, even the natural, you will never give to somebody who will not tell you thank you. As a person. Somebody give somebody something. He said, thank you, you first person. Now this is what you give me. If they give everybody now, everything you will react. It's the next time, come and take from me. I gave one of my relations money. She looked at it. I said, this woman never know where I be. That was the last day. She has been saying, Papa. She has complained. She said, they help everybody. They they help my my old sibling. But me, no one. For my mind, I said, I give you the tea. Tell me, thank you. I refuse to tell her. Well, if I tell her now, she will say thank you. It's not coming from my heart. I said, she will commonize the money. Funny enough, she has never given me a bottle of Coke to drink even when I was not here. People who don't know, who don't give, are the ones who commonize gift. If you're a giver, whatever somebody gives to you, thank God. But check people who are ungrateful, they are non givers. Because if you give, you know how painful it is to release from your hand. Somebody from out of his own pocket give you. Now say, hey, that is something. This is what it is. I just be in the rich man. They didn't get the money well, well. Now you give me the money. I don't want to give me the money. <laughs> I thought he's very rich. Look at what he's giving me 50,000, 100,000. This man who has money. I don't want to work the money for him. Anytime somebody gives you something, what do you say? Thank you from your heart, not from your lips. And when God gives you anything, what do you do? Thank him. That's the way to make favor to keep coming. Otherwise, to stop the flow of favor. I was talking, and in Mark 6, don't bother to open. Every time people read Mark 6, they just say that the disciples toiled on the sea. Have you ever heard them say so? That toiling on the sea did not just happen. When Jesus multiplied the loaves, the Bible said, they were ungrateful. They were unthankful. They were what? They didn't consider it as anything. Then in verse 52, he said, now nah, look at, bring it, 652, Mark. For they considered, this Peter, James, John, all of them, not the miracle of what? For their heart was what? And, then, and that was why, if you read from 48, you see we were storm. This is, this is why it happened. Someone like Thomas would have said, what is so special? He said, and he saw them what? Toiling, for the wind was contrary. This, uh, he, after he has given them, uh, some of you, that's what I do. Why will I thank God? Even if you come to church, you don't say it in your heart. I will I thank God. After all, sinners, are they not getting prosperous? Do you know where they will end? Every sinner will end in hell. You will get hell in hell. To compare yourself with the sinners and insult. Tell yourself, I will change my attitude. As to gain altitude. Look at your neighbor and say, brother, if that's not a sister, learn to be grateful. All this more, more, more inside your heart is not of God. Even this morning, some of you are making what? Oh, oh it's not all big bow. <laughs> There's a brother who called a big boy. what I used to do like this. He died and woke up. I hope it's not a big boy. Is he a big boy? If it's not a big boy, do some blame whistle. Low. You are not a FIFA referee. You don't even know how to blow for much. You do not have to play football. I asked one of my boys, I said, which is your team? He said, Barcelona. I said, yeah, Barcelona is not in EPL now. He's in La Liga. He doesn't even know. I said, I said which team is in EPL? He said, Barcelona. <laughs> I said, Barcelona is not in EPL, it's in uh, La Liga. So he just heard, because he heard me say Barcelona, he said, my team is Barcelona. I said, no, EPL. <laughs> English, English Premier League. English Premier League, he said, Barcelona. I said, Barcelona is in Spain, no, it's not uh, English Premier League. He said, Papa, I don't know now. <laughs> Before he said, River State is in Ghana. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Praise the Lord. What manager favor can do? Let me do and then. What manager favor what? Number one, it can change your status. It can change your status. In, in First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse twenty-two, and Saul sent to Jesse. Jesse saying, "Let David, I pray, thee stand before me, for he had found favor in my sight." That is, as so as wicked as Saul, he sent for David to come up to the palace for favor. Where you are, that would do you know why David did not attack Saul? It was Saul who introduced him to the palace. Saul invited him. Saul did what? To come to the palace. He said, because this boy has found what? Favor. Today I decree you will enter the palaces in the name of Jesus. Somebody in authority who may not even like you will send for you as I'm speaking right now. I'm talking to someone in the name of Jesus. If you are the one expected to be in the palace, let your amen be the loudest. In the precious name of Jesus. So before we go to the anointing section, and next, I'll use about 10 minutes to minister on the anointing. How many of you now know what to do in this first service? Number one, be born again. Number two, favor the kingdom of God. Number three, grow in knowledge. Are you hearing me now? Then you provoke favor. Lift your right hand and say, Father, I'll put what I've heard to practice. Will you favor his kingdom? Now, month, year is ending. Don't buy Christmas cloth when you have not paid tight. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Very what? Very dangerous. Don't. Within a time, I have noticed, for instance, if a non tighter drives me, two tires will break, will bust. Unbeliever, it will not bust. But once you are born again and you drive me and you're not a tighter, it has happened three cases and all the three drivers did not pay tight. It happened to us even in the battle. I stopped and I said to the, to the driver of the pastor, I said, you don't pay tight. He kept quiet. I said, that's why these two tires busted. He looked at me. We're driving to a place called, where's the place close to? Obosi. Two tires. Bah! I turned, looked at my driver. I knew the meaning. Once you carry me, I'm a very strange covenant practitioner. In that one, I employed a new driver on my Rolls Royce. We are coming from airport, my wife and I, the two tires, bah! I said, nothing. It's you, the devourer is following. <laughs> and I said, go and check his record. Tutu was not a tighter. Day for yesterday, is it day for yesterday? As we are coming from, from a program, bah! I just said, you don't pay tight. No devil, watch this. I said, park your car, I jump into another one. And truly, but he has been born again. All of them have been born again for years. All this attack is not the devil. Not everything is good to the devil. I'm telling you this December, don't tamper with your tithe. Otherwise, they may rush your children. Don't say, all the protection we do, they will rush my beginning to go here. Many of you are Christians, don't pay correct tithe. You pay as you like. It's not pay as you go. Pay correct tithe. So that you don't be blaming the devil for what the devil is not responsible. If you like it here, yeah. we are talking favor. Are you hearing me now? When I bring out your oil, as I'm talking to some of you, you say, hey, Papa, if I leave this topic now, if I leave, I wouldn't can't tell you. And the driver, the driver has been driving his pastor for years, though. For years, for. That you've, been, you've been coming to a church for 30 years. Tell me, you know. <laughs> Some of you have been old cargoes in the church. But we we'll never obey simple instruction. And some new believers will come today. Today, today they will obey. Today, today they will obey. Glory to God. After David was anointed, Open the oil, the spirit of God came out. Please, we notice something. After anointing service, many of you stay in the chairs. It's become too noticeable 
once the service is over, you see fingerprints of oil on chairs. Please, in all churches, when you finish, I need to use your handkerchief to clean. If you want to stain, use it to clean your body, not the church. Right? Clean it on your own clothes. Please stop using your fingers on clothes. Don't do it again. Don't use your fingers with oil and be holding the chairs. If nothing, clean it on your own body so your own cloth should be stained. Don't stain the house of God. Otherwise, anywhere you go, stain will be following you. <laughs> stain won't follow you in Jesus' name. Don't be standing there. You see fingerprints on all the chairs, which is not good. God won't allow stain to follow you. Even when I'm joking, no words are powerful. After two, the Lord, the Spirit of God came upon you from that day forward. Every oil in your hand seems to be an ordinary oil. Amen. The Spirit of God, the Comforter, is the same. Come upon that oil in the name of Jesus. Amen. That first Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. The Holy Spirit Himself, the ministry of the Comforter, come upon the oil in Jesus' name. Amen. Every form of discomfort and misfortune, as you are anointed today, this is the last day you go through misfortune. Amen. That near success syndrome. You go just close to the point. Today is the last day and that yoke is broken. Yeah. You will not experience it anymore in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And in 1 Samuel chapter 10, 1 to 4, he says, it's not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance. May the anointing today remove you from being a captive to become a captain. He says, You shall receive from them. I decree favor to become your own middle name. Then that shall go forward. May the anointing today give you progress. They will salute thee. Anything that make men to grieve you is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you shall be turned into another man. Amen. May favor become your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a child grew, first Samuel 2 26, and was in favor with the Lord and also with men. I declare, after today, everywhere you go, you'll be favored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, so thou granted me life and favor. Job 10, 12. I declare, by the anointing, life and favor is released in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mary was not the only virgin. There were many virgins. But God said, thou art highly favored. She was not the only one. But come, highly favored means amongst the crowd, you are single out. That's high favor. Favor of the highest order. She was not the only virgin, so why was she there? Because God favored her. Now, I don't care how many people are competing in that field with you. After this anointing, you'll be single out for favor. Amen. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. Amen. Thou art highly. I've shared my testimony where I stood in a crowd in the United States. Long queue. The queue was long. The line was long. So visitors long, citizens long. Ah, I said, well, we'll finish today. Just as I was standing, a woman pointed daddy to me at the, in the middle and did like this, you. She doesn't know me. Not to say that maybe she knew. She didn't know me. Just as you. So everybody was busy doing like this. And for the front of me, white, black of me, white, me too, white. <laughs> We're all white. But there's no black, there's no white. They are all pigmentation of wrong English. No white, no black. So I said, look at me. She said, yes. Then I, to be sure, I now brought up my passport to make her know I'm, an, I'm a Nigerian. So I did like this. So as you can see the green passport. So it's not your passport. It's what is inside you. If they treat you anyhow, not because you're Nigerian, because you don't carry favor. I've never been treated anyhow in any nation. Even when they molest Nigeria, don't molest me. So I did like this. He said, you, come. So, since she seems to be the most highest person in that airport, so everyone pull out the thing. They say, come, 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 come. She's calling you. She just did like this. Go to the citizens' line. That's what she was pointing. So go to boot one. Everyone was looking. To, you know, somebody who has authority in the place. So I just 
move with authority. I just stood there. Because the man has seen who dieted me, he knew she is a senior. Just how many days? I said, five days. No question. So I came to church and I said, is it possible for a visitor to go to the city's line? They said, now. Now. I said, but I went to the city's line. So even in church, some people don't believe. That inside our church, I said, is it possible for a visitor to go through the visitor's line, the visitor's line, the city's line? They said, now. 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 I look at them, I say, look at them. Don't say no. Today, policies will be suspended. Yeah. Laws will be suspended. Yeah. You and I will be singled out for favor. Yeah. If you are the one that will believe in, let your amen confirm it. Yeah. This week, you will hear good news. Yeah. Shout aloud, amen. He said, in his favor is life. Psalm 30 verse 5. As I thus made my mountain to stand strong. Verse 7. May you stand out in the name of Jesus. I thought your amen will confirm it. He said, even the rich shall entreat thy favor. With who will begin to favor you? Like I'm reading Psalm 45. 7 to 8 and verse 12. I decree the people in authority will look for you and I to favor us. Your CV will smell favor. When they call your name, favor will go with your name. Have they ever called your name and they say, I want to do it because of this person? Not just because you have money. There are people who have money, they call their name and say, You are connected to this wicked man? I won't do it for you. And there's some people they call. They say, Ah, is that your father? Is that your brother? No, 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 no. Melfi Budget enjoyed favor because of Jonathan, friend of David. There are people you call their name. They say, Ah, ah, you are related to that man. Don't worry. Hold on. I'll do it for you. After this day, your name will smell favor. Your CV, they'll bring it out and favor it. Anywhere you submit paper, it will be favored first. If you believe it, say amen like a believer. Jump on your feet and say, I believe it. Now listen carefully. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was that form and void and then upon the face of the deep. Everything that beclouded your life with misfortune, disappointment, failure, the Holy Ghost cleared from you. And God said, let there be light. May new glory come upon you with favor. Do you know it takes favor to get married? You don't know? You think pancake can make you get married? No. If pancake or whatever you call it, makeup will make you marry. All people with makeup would have gotten married. It is not makeup. In fact, it's not exposing your body that makes people get married. All the whole process would have married. That when young girls expose their breasts, expose their legs. It doesn't make any man to marry you. If that will make people marry, then prostitutes will get married first because they expose every part. Please, favor is what makes people to marry. I've not seen women who are very, quote, beautiful. Nobody wants to marry them. No favor. You see a woman who is not like that. Everybody wants to marry her. Favor. Marriage is by favor. By what? Favor. When a woman is favored, everybody just wants to say, I marry this one. But when no favor, is it that one? Hey, boy, they play with fire. I decree to everyone favor will rest on your life. Anywhere you go from today, your name, your face, everything that has to do with you will be accompanied with favor. The yoke of misfortune is permanently destroyed. Now take a little in the name of Jesus. I say the name of Jesus. As I am anointed, favor becomes my identity. Now anoint yourself and pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Pray heavily for favor. In the name of Jesus. As I'm anointed, favor becomes my identity. Favor becomes my portion. I 
I'm favored. Favor is my portion. I am favored. Favor is my portion. Everywhere I go, declare it with your mouth. I speak favor over my life. Right in this service. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. It is done. It is done. How many of you will hear good news? You will end this year with an outstanding favor. They left Egypt with favor. You were entering 2024 with favor. There's no one connected to this service globally that will not have an outstanding favor in the name of Jesus. Some of you, right in this service, as you're in this service, something good will happen to you. In the name of Jesus. But the beginning of favor is salvation. Is what? You must be born again. That's where the journey starts. You are not born again? Pray this prayer after me. Offer this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I've come to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose to save me. With my mouth, I confess you. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name. If you offer that prayers, keep standing while others take their seats. Please attend to everyone standing in our churches. If today is your first time to fellowship with us, kindly stand.